All right, folks, how's it going today? What we're gonna have is just a quick video. It's just gonna be a for sale video. And what we have up for sale is this 2007 Alwick uh, belt trailer. I bought this trailer used in 2012 to haul grain, silage, lime. We hauled all that stuff with it, but we just don't use it as much anymore. I ended up buying a Moss uh, silage trailer here um, early early this summer um, primarily when we use this trailer we would only use it for the farms that are real far away so we only used it for about a tenth of our ground that we chopped and then we use it of course for grain uh, this year for wheat I only hauled 10 loads with it and what I want to do is replace this trailer with a, a hopper bottom trailer and eventually we'd like to get another uh, silage trailer most of the stuff that we're hauling here is silage and um, we can just we can do the job of two trucks with an actual uh, silage trailer which they don't work the greatest for grain but this is a nice multi-purpose trailer here it's 46 foot long with six foot high sides on it and it's got a 54 inch wide belt it holds about 65 yards of uh, forage, whether it be haylage or corn silage, and roughly that's about 25 ton. Um, Grain-wise, I think it holds around 1,400 bushel, which you do not want to fill it right full because you'll be way overweight. Um, we always kept it down about uh, 14 inches or so, and we'd have on the legal limit, which I was legal for. 102,000 gross um, with the tractor and the trailer or whatever so we put a lot of work into this trailer here uh, this summer I ended up putting a brand new um, rollover tarp on it it's got a camera up on the top of the trailer we use that so we can see the tailgate um, I ended up putting a brand new uh, fifth wheel plate on it uh, this this summer as well it's all ready to go folks last winter we did the brakes on it and we put all new airbags on it. so here's the airbags here uh, there's one on the left side and you can see the one over there and uh, the brakes we ended up putting new brakes on it the tires are at about 70% roughly give or take um, we had to put a couple of new um, Clearview Stemco hubcaps on it. The hubcaps, the, the plugs were dry rotted and they were the style that you could only fill through the plug and the, um, they were just, they were junked up. So like I said, it's got a new tarp on it. It also has a hopper assembly on the back. Now you can dump this uh, trailer into a, um, a blower. I've, I've had it. Uh, dumping into a blower before auger um, that comes down to about I don't know 24 inches or something like that it funnels the material through it um, like I said we got a new tarp on there tires are in decent shape and then that aluminum hopper when you're hauling forage with it or whatever you don't need to hopper on there there's a storage spot right on the uh, side of the trailer so it's got a new rollover tarp like I said now we're gonna demonstrate this tailgate here. It's got a um, remote control to it. Now we ended up putting a new uh, knife gate on here. Um, the other one was rotted out. I've got a ball valve up on there so you can lock the gate up just a little bit for when you're hauling uh, haylage or corn silage. So I got these bars in there. That's what keeps the gate locked for when you're hauling grain. You do not need these in there for when you're hauling um, haylage or corn silage. Just take these, put them in the truck, throw them there on the ground. Now, uh, what's the beauty about this remote is you can run the valve body, which is on the back of the trailer here, you can run that um, right from the seat of the truck or if you're dumping into a hopper or something or an auger or whatever, you can stand over here and just just run it. So we're going to open up the knife gate. Just 
So the knife gates all the way up and then this this function here does the uh, actual hydraulic gate itself but you want to make sure you don't have your tarp rolled out. And of course you'd raise the tailgate like this for hauling haylage or corn silage or whatever. We got the gate all the way up and then you just simply turn the floor on, the, the apron chain for the floor. Now the truck is just at an idle now, but um, it's got a uh, valve body on the side of it that you can slow this uh, right down to, you know, that's barely moving. I have dumped into a six inch auger before with this. And you just raise that tailgate up just a little bit, bring your pile back to the back. You could either leave your belt on real, real slow, or you just bring it back in increments and you can meter it down to uh, just a crawl basically so all the the hand controls are right here if you don't want to use the remote um, this thing's all ready to go folks uh, the brakes have been adjusted the clear view hubcaps are full of oil the chain's been adjusted everything's been all greased up and ready to go we are probably going to use this for corn silage if it sells, it sells. I do have um, connections to where if somebody is way out of state or a far distance from me, I've got ways to get this trailer to you. Um, so that, that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, what I'd like to get out of this trailer, I'd like to get 32,500 bucks. These trailers are around $80,000 new. Like I said, this one is uh, 46 foot long, 72 inch tall sides, and it's got a 54 inch uh, belt. So we'll just walk around this uh, real slow here. Alright folks, so I've got the tarp all rolled out. We're going to jump up on top. We're going to show you that. I also took the hopper off the back or the funnel, if you will, off the back. And then I'm just going to turn this ball valve here. That's set up to haul um, corn silage now and that gate won't go down at all on me. But this is where you store um, the hopper right on the... Right on the uh, uh, it's not a hopper, it's a, just a funnel The uh, it goes on the back of the trailer. You just start right on the side, then you've got it right with you for hauling different commodities if you go from grain to forage to, to lime or something like that. So, we'll jump up on top of the trailer and I'll show you the tarp. Alright, we're up on top of the trailer looking down the tarp now. As you can see, this is a new tarp. We ended up putting new end caps on the front and then the end cap that goes on the, the back as well. This is a Sherlock um, tarp system. Um, you know, got the bows that go down through it, and then the rubber um, cable or the uh, rubber canvas holders on the outside. Everything's new. The whole tarp is new. I had one on it before, but the tarp all went to hell. So that's gonna do it, I guess. So I'm gonna climb down off in here before I fall off, and we'll close out this uh, video here. All right, folks, so that's going to do it for this video. I just rolled the tarp all back over to the right-hand side of the trailer. Um, the asking price of this trailer is $32,500. I want $32,500 for it or best offer. I'll drop an email down in the description of this video along with down on the bottom of the screen here. Uh, you can email me at farmingfixing.com and fabricating and we can go over any details 
uh, with this trailer it is completely ready to go like I was saying there's been a lot of new parts added to this trailer if it doesn't sell we're just gonna keep using it but I just thought it would be best to get rid of it now buy a, a hopper bottom trailer something specific if specific for grain and then um, end up getting another uh, moss silage trailer uh, next year um, everything works on it but it's just it doesn't hold enough uh, silage for something that we're primarily using just for silage we're not hauling enough grain to uh, to justify it so um, thanks for watching folks again email will be down in, this, in the description and um, we'll catch it the next one thanks for watching